I'm Ron Miller with the law firm of Miller & Zoys. I'm going to talk today about the law of contributory negligence. Contributory negligence is a harsh and unjust rule. Under this rule, someone who is injured as a result of negligence, who contributes in some way to their own injuries, may not receive any financial recovery. So if the jury believes the plaintiff is only 1% at fault for her injuries and the defendant was 99% at fault, she still would get no recovery. Is this ridiculously unfair? Of course it is. Outside of Maryland and the four other jurisdictions, tort law has moved towards justice, replacing contributory negligence in favor of the far more logical doctrine of comparative negligence, where defendants pay their fair share of harm they caused. The federal government uses comparative negligence. In fact, all of the British Commonwealth countries who invented this unreasonable doctrine in the first place have switched to comparative negligence. And by the way, Great Britain didn't just figure this out yesterday. They got rid of contributory negligence 75 years ago after World War II. So how does contributory negligence work in a jury trial? The jurors are given a jury instruction that really is stunningly simple. A plaintiff cannot recover if the plaintiff's negligence is a cause of the damage. The defendant has the burden of proving the preponderance of evidence that the plaintiff's negligence was a cause of the plaintiff's damage. That's the Maryland pattern jury instruction. So again, if the victim is even a single cause of the damage caused, she cannot recover. In Maryland, our state legislature has declined all opportunities to alter this 172-year-old common law doctrine that absolves a wrongdoer responsibility if the plaintiff is at all to blame. Why? Like you would expect, victims, groups, and trial lawyers are pitted against insurance companies and business interests. That's the battlefield. But it's a little more complicated than that. Some plaintiff's lawyers are also against the change of contributory negligence to comparative negligence. Why? The answer lies in the doctrine of joint and several liability. All five remaining jurisdictions, which is Maryland, D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, and Alabama, have joint and several liability. Under joint and several, one defendant who is a substantial contributing cause can be held responsible for all the damage when other defendants have been found liable. Of the 46 states that have comparative negligence, only four, which is Delaware, Maine, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, have joint and several liability. My law firm handles mostly malpractice and motor vehicle accidents. We have very few cases where the, there's not plenty of money behind all the defendants. But if your plaintiff's lawyer handles asbestos cases where not all the defendants are still around and you're in a baseball team and you have a lot of lobbyist power, let's just say that understandably not all plaintiff's lawyers are aligned together. In other jurisdictions, the state's high court has stepped in and simply changed the common law at the same court it previously made hundreds of years ago, maybe. But Maryland law is tightly tethered to precedent, more than most states, and a solid majority of the Maryland Court of Appeals has found it's the law to change for the Maryland legislature, which takes us back to square one all over again. So for the near term, we seem to be stuck with contributory negligence. The good news is that jurors rarely apply a doctrine, literally. So we've not seen many cases where a very minor contributory negligence cuts a case. But the prospect is always out there, and it can have an effect not only at trial, but on the settlement value of a case. So that's contributory negligence. If you have any questions, leave a comment to this video and we'll try to answer them. You can also look in the description to this video and find some case law and other information related to contributory negligence in Maryland and elsewhere that might be of use to you. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch.